Hi, I'm Tessa Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to show you how to formulate a blow dry cream. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so I am going to be making um, a cationic sort of uh, cream here, so pretty similar to a conditioner build. Now the point of a blow dry cream is to help protect the hair from the damage of obviously blow drying, also to um, repair it, and help prevent damage from heat and obviously air, strengthen the hair, keep it moisturized and also help with um, frizzy hair and split ends and stuff like that as well. Um, so this is applied obviously in uh, wet or damp hair and then blow dry afterwards. So starting off, I've got my water phase here and then I'm going to be making a slurry today to help build my structure. So I've got some propane gel in here. Because this is going to be a leave-in product, I don't want anything that's going to be sticky, heavy, oily or greasy. So I've gone from I've gone for propane gel because glycerin can be a little bit sticky in a leave-on. Now to this, I'm going to be adding some guar gum. This is going to help building the gel structure of my cream, but it's also going to help with... Um, creating softness in that hair as well. So we want a nice smooth slurry before we add that into our water phase to prevent fish eyes and just to ensure that our gum starts to hydrate properly. And we're just gonna give that one a stir until it's nice and homogenous. As you can see, the guar gum hasn't really added any viscosity to the water at the moment. So guar has a low viscosity impact generally. So we're going to be relying on our emulsifiers for viscosity in this uh, case. So I'm going to add that one on heat now. Okay, and while that one's heating, I'm going to put together my oil face here. So in my bowl, I have some amino sensor. So this is a um, cationic emulsifier. So this is going to help condition the hair. It's going to help soften it and also help with frizziness as well. To this, I'm going to be adding my non-ionic emulsifier. So this is the Olive M1000. This is going to give uh, my cream some body and also some viscosity and stability as well. Now we do need this to spread through the hair. So this needs to be ideal for all types of length of hair or thickness or thinness of hair. So we do want to make sure it's good to spread in it. So I'm going to be adding a light, long spreading lipid here. So this is the Dermafil Sensol. This is nice and light and drying. Again, we don't want anything heavy or greasy because it is going to be a leave on product. Now, once our water phase is hot enough, we're going to add our oil phase to it. We need to ensure that it, it's heated to at least 80 degrees to prevent waxy water. Okay, once our water phase is hot enough, we're now going to add our oil phase to it. And we're going to stir until it's a nice homogenous emulsion. Okay, so while that's uh, cooling slightly still, I'm just going to be talking through some of the actives that I'm using in my blow dry cream. So my first one here is the N Hair Dry Tea by Nanoscoping. Now, this is a blend of nano encapsulated actives um, indicated for deep hydration of the hair uh, with the formation of a long lasting protective film as well. So it's an, an emollient, it's moisturizing. It also builds a formation of a long lasting protective film over the hair. So this is gonna help with obviously like flyaways or frizzy hair and also some protectiveness with blow drying. Um, it's also got deep hair hydration and nourishment. As we know, blow drying or any, any sort of heat towards the hair can damage the hair quite a bit it can dry it out and stuff like that um, it's got adherence to hair strands it revitalizes softness so again heat can cause dryness so adding a bit of softness and stuff like that to hair is ideal it's got restruction and recuperation of hair after chemical procedures it's also good at preventing split ends stimulation of hair growth and it's also good for anti-dandruff as well so it's a multifunctional active here so really good to add in your uh, leave-in hair products now there is some clinical data here um, so it was clinically tested for its effectiveness on hair softness in an accredited laboratory so it was added to a leave-in styling cream and then um, obviously there's a big increase in hair softness as well. So that's awesome. That's going to make it a lot easier to brush or comb as well. 
and then it was also assessed in a leave-in combing cream uh, the treatment covered the strands uniformly promoting a clear realignment of the scales and repairing the structure of the strands so you can see a before and after photo here of some damaged hair strands and then obviously some treated ones with the active as well so huge difference really good multifunctional active there Now, my next one, I'm going to be adding just a little bit of some Ceramide Complex by CLR. This is really good for hair conditioning and moisturizing, as obviously, as well as for the skin, but it also really works really good with hair. I'm just going to be adding my preservative here. I'm going in with the Cosphoderm Multi Meg by Cosphotech. This is a nice, naturally derived preservative. And who doesn't love a hair product with a really good fragrance? So I'm just going to go in here with a crisp watermelon fragrance by IFF. This is a naturally dried fragrance. It smells beautiful. And we're just going to give that one a stir. Now because the uh, N Hair Drady is encapsulated, it makes it a lot easier to formulate it with. So we are going to check and adjust our pH. Now remember this is a cationic environment so we do want the pH to sit a little bit lower. So anywhere between 4 and 5, we're going to go to 4 to 4.5. And we're just going to cover and leave that sit overnight just to check for any signs of instability. Okay, and here is what our blow dry cream is looking like the next day. As you can see, it's remained very nice and stable. It's beautiful, it's glossy, and it's got a really good viscosity to it. Now it's got really good spread. It's very, very soft and buttery as well. So that's gonna spread through wet or damp hair very, very well. There's no tackiness and there's obviously no greasy or heavy residue left over either. So it's gonna sit really nicely in the hair. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to put together a blow dry cream to protect the hair from heat and also to restructure and soften the hair as well. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.